Good morning, Zodiac. Welcome. It's the Soul Family Read for the 27th of September, Monday, starting the week. A daily read, a collective read for whoever resonates, hopefully those that are part of my soul family. So I read myself into this a little bit. This is Playa del Carmen, Mexico, 74th and 5th Avenue North to be exact. We're looking at the Caribbean Sea, Cozumel in the distance, this building. In a few months, it won't be such a monstrosity. It'll probably be a very nice place to live. <laughs> Welcome. Hopefully, got you in there. So, um, I want to do a heart spread today for you guys. So, this is going to read, uh, and I'll be, as always, on Monday, there is a Taurus, and I read two signs. I really need my glasses for these cards. Um, <clears throat> two signs a day, uh, 12 signs a week. And uh, this week we're going to do October. Just a general read for all of October. So it's a big read. <laughs> and I try to keep it short. So I probably ought to start time stamping the intro. Uh, I will. But for this read, it's like the intro to so the reading. <laughs> I'll read myself. I'm kind of thinking what's the big theme. What kind of is on my mind mostly? I wrote a good big article for me uh, on Mercury Retrograde. Encourage you today. How about welcome? <laughs> kind of starts official. Um, so uh, on my Facebook, that's linked in the description. And uh, normally I don't read for so much the relationship here. I try to look at soul and manifestation, spirituality, in the round relationship. But today I kind of want to read the. Um, heart spread for you guys so we're going to pick up on who's on your mind who's in your heart simple as that and it's kind of on you it, it's it it doesn't have to be a lover it could be an animal it could be a dead, passed on loved one an angel <laughs> it could be an angel like uh, the number two position i typically look at is a, a little bit like a breed astrology into it that's the seventh house that's a projection Anima, animus, what we project out into the world that we want for ourselves. And the first card is you. And I try to just get a beat on where you're at. A little bit separate from your person you're thinking of with the first and second. And get a beat on them. Baseline. Kind of where they're at in terms of uh, love and relationship. And then uh, two and three cards look at uh, how you're reacting to each other. So those those two, how they relate and how they relate to the where you are at. <laughs> It means everything. And I do look now at the bottom of the deck uh, on this read, which I didn't before, as an overall energy, which I was talking on an astrology site. I said, you could look at the bottom of the deck in tarot on a read, very much like how uh, you would kind of look at your progressed moon energy. I'm a Sagittarius Mercury, so see if that clicks. Because <laughs> it. uh, the progressed moon is subtle energy. But it's there, you know. Uh, but it's very subtle. It's way below like articulation usually uh, but ten of cups guys ten of cups that's fantastic let's just stop there <laughs> heart spread 27 yeah it's rocking <laughs> so you know it's kind of like i just love the ten of cups I, I probably my favorite card i love love you know why i have this uh channel and of course it's caused a mess in my life <clears throat> but i realized this is how we grow this is how it works here. And you're coming in with the moon card. Wow. So, emotional. There's someone that's emotional. But here in this position, showing kind of where you're at in terms of love and relationship, i got to see this as that something's hidden from you uh, about this, about relationships in general. And we might go on and see that it's a, well, if it's about, let's put it this way, I'm trying to make this a little deeper. If, if we're in this energy where there's something about relationships that we're not seeing about ourselves, some pattern, uh, emotional pattern um, that could be really old, like from childhood, um, I have in the description, you know, it was a while back, but, you know, I probably should just want to do another one of those readings uh, where we kind of look at the uh, ancestral curses, you know. But so this could go way back. And something you're not seeing, emotional. And then so, then we, again, the seventh house. Now we're going to see it's the seventh house, our projection, our animal, our animus. 
And what we're going to get from here is something that uh, if we're following the spiritual path and we're manifesting, okay, and there's, you know, we're not perfect, just something we don't see. What do we manifest? Because we're manifesting and we're, we're doing a good job and we know that spirit and the universe, God loves us and wants us to achieve a higher soul connection within ourselves a, and higher, a better integration always, you know, we won't want us to move towards the light, no? So um, what is it going to bring in? What is spirit going to bring in for us in Ace of Pentacles? Earth sign, this is uh, going to be uh, stable energy, uh, sincere. Sincerity is very much at play here. Uh, do not have any question uh, as to their sincerity, good or bad or indifferent. They're, they're being very sincere. Um, so you're going to think Taurus or Virgo Capricorn. Um, you could also look at earth houses, uh, second house, sixth house, and tenth house uh, as being significant, particularly in your composite. I see this a lot. It's a composite relationship chart that combines both of you. Um, often an astrologer might not look at that if you're just casually dating or certainly ahead of time. It's supposed to be when there's actually a relationship together. Um, but I find it often shows the purpose of the relationship most pointedly. But uh, definitely it's going to show where the emphasis is as a couple, but where you're going to put your energy. So, and also I would see an Ace of Pentacles a little bit like a page energy uh, in something solid. I think this person, <laughs> I was going to say it like this, they're going to hit you right in the puss. <laughs> they're going to hit you straight up with exactly what it is that you don't see. This is not bad, this is wonderful, this is not codependent, this is life, this is like angels. What are angels, people, that come in our lives and help us out when we need it? And they, they do, don't they? Those are angels go. This is a little bit of your person being an angel. So again, doesn't have to be a lover. It could be your pet. I gotta do a pet reading. I really do, I've been called to do a pet reading. It sounds crazy, but it's like, uh, like what does your partner need to tell you? Which I, need, I love those readings, I think they're helpful. Um, but like, what does your pet need to tell you? What is the most helpful things that spirit can tell us that your pet needs to communicate? <clears throat> so I think this person comes in and whatever this is, it's like with you, it's something that's kind of ungrounded in general. It's something ungrounded. And I gotta, you know, this is my reading, I can think of this. Comes to mind like Neptune square, my son's been transiting my seventh hour. Neptune dissolves things, man. It can be, at the higher octaves, it's amazing, you know, but often to get there, and this is the point, you need Saturn. So this is Saturn energy, kind of in general. Saturn is the roots, the structure, building, you know, um, and if we don't sort of satisfy Saturn, then we go off into these Neptunian, like, uh, wonderlands, and, you know, it could be anything, not just drugs, but, like, just... Um, <coughs> fantasy worlds um, that are not always helpful, you know? Like, we need fantasy and imagination, but as um, Terrence McKenna said, maybe, you know, imagination is the greatest thing we have. <coughs> if aliens come here, and they're, uh, um, you know, much more intelligent than us, like, maybe to them we're like ants, you know? Maybe the one thing they might see about us that's kind of, like, amazing is to be like, man, these, our imagination, they might go, wow, these humans... With the things that they can imagine. How do they do that? It's the weird thought, but yes. I'm not going to go from the bottom. We want our ten of cups there. It's kind of the overall energy. All right, so and I get it. So now this is you reacting to your person here. And what's happening is glow up. So this is very good here because you're reacting to them with the energy of the king of wands. And it, it's also bringing Leo energy with the lions on this throne because it could certainly be a, a Leo. But it's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, going to be your first house, you know. Um, going to be your fifth house, Leo, first house, Aries, ninth house, Sagittarius. Things going on there for you in your chart. Transits progressed. But this person, I love it because in your reaction to them, you're the king of wands. It's not you feeling defensive. It's you feeling male or female. <clears throat> doesn't matter here. <clears throat> you're feeling really good about yourself and confident 
and sexy, they turn you on. This is your reading. They turn you on. They don't turn you on, this person, because now we're into a love reading. I don't know. Uh, if you want to take sex out of it, then, I mean, they just, whoever this is, when you're responding to them, you're just a glowing, you know. <clears throat> and how's that bad? Hmm. Like, whoever this is, they're solid. I love, I love coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. Fine. And if they're making you feel like the King of Wands, if I was like your friend and you're telling me and you're showing me King of Wands energy and I'm your friend, I'm going, you know what? I like your new person. I don't need to meet them. I like them because I see how they make you feel really good about yourself and happy and strong. You know, they're not doing any kind of narcissist shit where they're trying to pull you down. They're building you up. So, and whatever. Can't say that's bad. Holy moly. And you make them feel like the king of pinnacles. This is an earth sign, guys. This is your reading. it got to be an earth sign. I'm trying to think here. If, uh, wow. Um, it's got to not, maybe not a Virgo. It's like so much earth here. This is Capricorn stuff. And they're lending a hand. Capricorn. It's Capricorn energy. They're lending. See this this hand. They might be reaching out and giving you something. Even um, could be could be you know help financially. Um, it's not a bad thing. Uh, they're stable. Um, possibly even more than you. Or they use. Uh, they they make you feel stable. <clears throat> Maybe part of this too. Again, is the grounded. Remember the Saturn. So in order to really be spiritual and really go and reach those heights of Neptune, which are amazing, uh, in the 3D, we got to give Saturn its due. So this is a person that's all Saturn all the time. Tenth house, Saturn, <clears throat> uh, composite Saturn to Venus, Saturn to everything. Uh, I imagine you're going to see sextiles, trines, and sinistry, you know, Saturn to Venus, Saturn to IC, DC, AC, moon, um, energy that's binding. And this is, so not only do they make you feel really good about yourself, but they ground you in something about get, trying to get a beat on what this is. And it's going to be something that uh, was, you weren't grounded in this, and this is my relation. I'm telling you, it fits perfectly. And it fits perfectly. I'm Sagittarius, so, uh, but my fire's coming back anyway. Why do I have this relationship? It's not really, never about the other person. First lesson, not a <laughs> hard thing to say to your person really not about you <laughs> you know it's about us right <clears throat> and you were doing the right thing and you brought in just what you needed to give you this uh, energy that you needed that balances you out and they're matching you too I mean king to king it's not a male female thing it could be a gay relationship right on but that doesn't mean it just means it's your energies are matching and you're both strong as is so far <clears throat> extremely positive I'm not surprised I'm not surprised to see that, guys. Four of Pentacles. Okay. That's okay. So this is your advice for spirit on how to deal with this relationship. Um, this is important because they're all Pentacles here. Um, I think a, kind of what this is saying is sort of take a lesson from your person. This Because this is a advice from spirit on how we're going to relate to our person and the spirit wants to give us the best advice um it's kind of really about learning from them and and being grounded because it's four pinnacles it's not bad here you see she's curled up in the fetal position it can have the energy at, at, at four pinnacles of holding on too tight and not wanting to give our inner energy away and i think that's kind of what's being asked here and advised here it's, spirit's not telling you what to do. It's not really asking you. So this is the advice. If you want advice from your higher self, from soul, from God, you know, um, it's to somehow uh, contain your own energy. I'm thinking strongly, uh, you're going to do this anyway. It's energetic. But they're, they're self-contained, this person. So <laughs> what's that? <laughs> they can sit in a doctor's office quietly. Maybe they'll take a nap or... Maybe they'll engage conversation. Maybe they'll sit still. They don't have to be on their phone. It's not a big deal if they don't have it. They're self-contained. They don't need other people to, you know, uh, make them feel okay. You know, they're so king of pentacles solid in themselves. You know, mature, you know, all that. Um, 
then you are a little more, you need that input, you need fire, there must be fire with you, you know, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, everything here in this reading is important, you know, fire, Saturn can do crazy things, good or bad, you know, uh, so, um, you know, that's them kind of grounding you and kind of being an example, and it's not like they're going to tell you, do this, do that, it's just being, I'm telling you with me, just being around someone who's emotionally whole, emotionally grounded, emotionally solid. Again, there's something emotional here, right? So solid. After a while, particularly, my God, they love you, and you love them, and there's nothing bad. <laughs> You're just having a normal life, you know? It just rubs off on you. It's just what you need, this uh, uh, energy of just being down. It's no drama. It's no problems. It's just, and then after a while, it's like, oh, okay, well, I can relax around relationships first to seventh house because that's okay. And I don't know, for me, it's like, thank God, because I still am on the verge of being overwhelmed. It seems like so much to do and only so many hours in the day. It's like I can put my energy uh, into work. And it's just my positive energy. You know, I don't have to worry about those things anymore. That could be a whole element with you here. A period, uh, pinnacles are slow, four pinnacles, uh, even four years, you know, uh, maybe there's been a large life cycle here. But in this whole time, I see like getting, you know, uh, more and more grounded and more and more solid, more and more peaceful inside. Yeah, beautiful. Six of wands. You know, and their advice is kind of opposite to keep pouring it on. <laughs> pouring it on. Here's the deal, <clears throat> guys. Uh, you got the King of Wands. Here's they're being advised the Six of Wands. Um, um, it they re really turns them on to turn you on, and you really do turn them on. Maybe more than you even know, you know. And spirits kind of be advising them. They they could have a little issues. You know, we all do. I mean, oh God, that's so complicated. You know, our minds have all been played with. You know, and our sexuality has been vastly squashed and twisted you know but spirits are telling them it's okay to have be sexually attracted uh, to your person here there's nothing wrong with it you know go 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 with the six of wands and you're coming in with the king of wands there's nothing on this is nothing of the plutonic uh, negative sort of you know obsessive control nothing like that you know so it, I see this really uh, strong connection uh, with earth and fire, too. So just to say, they're not fighting or anything. It's simply someone walking to work down it's very early in Mexico, and their dogs are doing their job and uh, making a lot of noise. <laughs> early. Good boys. <laughs> so page of cups, this advice from spirit. Um, I think with this one, I got a feeling this is a younger person, uh, maybe a child of one of you who's a water uh, child. Um, this would be, you know, your Cancer energy, Scorpio energy, Pisces energy, one of them. Usually with a child, the moon is most prominent, particularly if they're very young. But you guys appear to me to be a little bit older, so I, um, you may have a child together or something. But being that there's advice on spirit, it's uh, to take this child into consideration, and like you are. Um, and it, it tells me something to listen to the child. The child has something to tell you. And to my soul family member, I don't know how they're... There's a cross watcher. If you're a cross watcher, welcome to the soul family. <laughs> so I don't know how that works. Um, but this is emotional, see cups? And this thing that we're not seeing is emotional. So this younger person is going to say something to you. Um, last night, you know, a young man who's a cousin of my girlfriend, you know, and he said very, he's such a good man. His mother's amazing. Uh, not uh, my girlfriend's uh, sister. Um, and he said very sincerely, he said, you know, what we, part of the culture here, he said, you know, we try to help each other as a family. And they do, you know, and I've never really had a family. And I know in America, too, a lot of families are that way. It's very strong here, you know. They don't have, tend to have as much money. And so family's taken seriously, you know. If you're somebody in family needs something, you know, people are going to try. You might not want to help anybody else because it's hard, but you can help your family. 
And so maybe it's something like that where this is, a, and also it's always a soul connection. You have a child's soul connection. I love to do synergy with children and mothers, fathers. Let me know. Uh, uh, and it's so heavy. You can do it yourself. Just go to AstroSeek or Astro.com or Ca Astro Cafe. I think they all have synergy. Just plug in the numbers and give you some idea. It's going to be amazing what you'll see. But this is someone like uh, really giving advice, and they're, they're pointing towards you. Um, so giving you advice, uh, it may have been what I just said for me, it, it rings a bell. Um, but it's advice that's really going to help you in terms of whatever it is you're not seeing here or integrating in yourself. Um, so it's just like, just all kind of yummy. I see like you getting all kind of help uh, from the universe, grounding, possibly financial help, uh, and you know, uh, good, good sex and a strong connection that's uh, positive, you know, like fifth house sex, not the crazy eighth house sex here. Um, and you're being told to go ahead and be a little selfish too, is what this is, you know, go ahead and be a little selfish. Take, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's like, let it wash over you. This is not love bombing bullshit here. This is like energy being given to you by the universe through your person and you know, how's the universe gonna work, you know? Right? So, with their Ten of Cups is the overall energy. It's like, ah, it's blessed. And you have Ten of Cups as the overall energy. <laughs> My God, man. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles as the outcome of this heart spread. Guys, this is all about grounding. This is all about being strong. This is all about being financially secure. It's straight up. If you don't see it now, God, it's coming. And it might be coming to this person. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're soulmates and, you know, you bring the fire and they bring the earth. It's like that. And it's going to really work, guys. I mean, you've got all of the love and emotion and you've got all kind of groundedness, you know. I mean, literally, you see, like, good sex here, um, sincerity here. Um, but both of you are kings. It's like one of the best heart spreads I've ever done. And I'm really great uh, that grateful that I got to do it uh, for the soul family so um, we could go back to a more traditional reading uh, tomorrow but uh, please do comment uh, please do uh, you know share this with any groups you can think of on Facebook or whatever where they might be helpful to them and give me that like that helps a lot and do comment that, that helps I uh, really want to start growing the channel here and um, <clears throat> I really love being able to talk to the soul family like this. So, I don't know, maybe once a week I might do, just do a heart spread uh, for you guys because uh, that's like my favorite read. You know, I kind of came up with it. <laughs> Thank you guys.